everybody. Welcome to Big C TV Adventures. My name is Chris. It's day three of our trip here to Vegas. We still got one more day to go. Um, again, we're getting kind of a late start because Shelby had to go do something. Um, but we're about to get going. Probably going to grab some lunch and then see what the rest of the day holds. But we have lots of different things we're looking into. So who knows what we're going to end up doing? We'll find out. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're enjoying some appetizers right now. These are mac and cheese ball, bacon mac and cheese balls. And this is uh, smoked sausage with cheese, like a barbecue sauce, and um, sweet potato fries. Tell me what do you think? Pretty good, right? Very good. Yeah. Good flavor. Delicious. Really good. Buddy, how's, how's the food for you? Very good. As appetizers go, these are great. Yeah, they are. Yeah. We also got some, uh, some alcohol. We got a raspberry mojito. Shelby got himself a margarita. And then we got a Bloody Mary. Perfect. So we're going to continue to enjoy our appetizers. And, uh, go from there. So our entrees came. So we're working on those. I got the barbecue burger, which is a cheeseburger with barbecue sauce and pulled pork. It's really good, actually. It has a really good flavor. Got a side of the mac and cheese, which is also delicious. Shelby, what did you get? I got a chicken quesadilla. It How tastes is it? like peanuts. That's weird. It's weird. It shouldn't it taste like peanuts. I don't understand that at all, but okay. Uh, buddy, how's your chicken and waffles? It's a mixed bag. Uh, the waffles are really great. The chicken, although it's, uh, it's cooked decent, but they didn't season it properly. No salt or pepper, so it's kind of like, you know, you ever seen chicken cooked without salt and pepper or spices before? It's just bland. It's just bland, yeah. yeah. But can, otherwise, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, I, yeah, I can attest to that. I actually tried some of the chicken waffles. It's it's bland, and the, the chicken's overcooked. But, I mean, it is what it is, I guess, so. I mean, we're getting by, and the appetizers were good, though. It started off strongly, but the entrees, it seems like for these two, were not the greatest. But mine's pretty good, so I'm going to keep working my way through. So this is kind of a bizarre art fixture. They have all these pictures of toilets and outhouses, leading to, of course, the bathroom. And that's kind of a bizarre artistic choice, but hey, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, interesting. So we're walking around the Miracle Mile shops here over in the uh, Planet Hollywood. Uh, this looks much more like a more traditional mall than some of the other like super high-end ones. Plus, they're, most of their retail locations are like pretty pretty standard, nothing too crazy high-end. So this is definitely the uh, the working man's mall here in Vegas, where you can get some stuff that you can actually afford. Have a Fat Tuesday. That's always good. So, got some interesting stuff in here too, but it's got a cool look. It looks nice. Not as extravagant as some of the other uh, shopping areas that we've been to, but uh, looks nice. Has some nice art style and stuff. So, pretty cool place. That's the coolest facade I've seen so far for one monarchy. We got like a ship. It's supposed to look like an old school port. It's pretty cool looking. So, very nicely well done. Apparently, there's like some kind of show that takes place here. It's like a water show. It's not going on right now, but kind of like they have at Caesars, but this one doesn't look nearly as elaborate. So, yeah, pretty interesting place. Good morning from Las Vegas. It's our last day. Uh, so, we're getting packed up and ready to go. Uh, we still got quite a few hours though because our our flight isn't until like 10 o'clock tonight so we're still gonna have some adventures today uh, but it's the beginning of the end of this trip at least so we're gonna see what happens okay this is the Disneyland candy cane I'm finally getting to try it after we tried it like two months ago but that's okay no last month it's only been a month it's good do you like it very pepperminty very fresh still that's impressive considering, you know, it Very was made impressive. two months ago. I like it. Very good. Good. So I'm glad you finally got to try the candy cane. I cut that piece off specifically for you, so 
Glad you liked it. Figure since we're in Vegas, might as well check out the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop, which is the pawn shop from the TV show Pawn Stars. So take a look around, see what's going on. That was a cool experience. Um, we got to walk around the pawn shop and see some really cool stuff. Shelby actually got something, which is kind of cool. Um, but it was it was a neat experience. They had a very strict no filming policy, so I took a few pictures. So that's what you're seeing right now. But uh, yeah, it was it was a cool thing and then something different I got to do. So pretty cool. All right, well we just uh, made it to the Planet Hollywood. I think we're gonna play some games on the casino floor while we're burning some time before we head to last couple destinations so it's been a good day Shelby but uh we don't have a whole lot left but we're gonna make it happen so so we just did escape reality another escape room here in Vegas it was like this kind of like terminator ish inspired room we didn't make it out I know it was hard though it was um the, the theming was outstanding. Like, it was really, really well done. All the rooms looked really cool. I've never done a sci-fi room before, so I thought it was a really well done sci-fi room. The main problem I had with this room is there was way too much math. Like, the whole room was math. And I get it, but, like, you gotta have more puzzles than just solve for X, which is basically the entire room. It's all math problems. I'm like, ugh. So, I enjoyed it. That was fun. Not my favorite escape room we've done, but it was, it was pretty good. It was good. I so, liked you liked it too? I liked it. All right, so there we go. That was our, that's our little review. And uh, now I guess we're going back to the Golden Tiki and then to the airport. Trip's almost over. Can't believe it. But it is what it is, so let's, let's keep going. So we made it to the Centurion Lounge here at the airport. And it's, it's time for us to go home, almost. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer, but uh, it's, it's been a good trip. We've done a lot, we got to relax for a while. It's been nice. It's been fun, so glad we got to do it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this big CTV adventure. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye from Vegas. Make I'm ready for you.